So what is a green building and its effect on the RCC structures? It is green construction or sustainable building refers structure and using process that is environmentally responsible and resource efficient through a building. It is of high performance structure and they promote healthy environment. Now the question comes why we go green actually? The structural design efficiency to increase energy efficiency, to maintain water efficiency, to maintain material efficiency and to remove the waste and toxic efficiency. So this is the structural design efficiency. The water efficiency. The energy efficiency. The layout of construction can be natural light ports for additional warmth. Shading the roof with trees offers an eco-friendly alternative to air conditioner. The material efficiency. The waste reduction. Materials used in green construction. These are wool bricks, sustainable concrete, solar tiles, paper insulation, triple glazed window instead of steel and bamboo. Sustainable concrete and solar tiles. Paper insulation and triple glazed window. It is resistant to fire and insects. It stops the heat to enter into the building. The bamboo. The bamboo as high compressive strength than steel. The merits and demerits of green building. It saves the energy. It improves indoor air quality. It reduces the water. It reduces the waste. It is easily maintained. It improves the health and lifestyle and recreation of the environment. The initial cost of the construction is high. The availability of material is rare. It needs more time to construct the building. It needs skilled worker to construct the building. The green building concept in the India. The need of green buildings. Buildings are responsible for 40% of worldwide energy flow and material use. Conventional buildings have been identified as the largest source of greenhouse gas emissions even more than that of the transport and industry sector. Conclusion So, the Green Building Certificates presents a moving target. It is critical to work with clients early and continuously to determine goals and objectives. It focuses on objects performance measures and clear allocation of risk and green building issues which are presented in early every phase of development and looks for opportunities to improve old practices and the boiler.